Test. Test. Right, this is me testing my streaming capabilities once again, where we are talking about drip, drop, draw. That's right. I'm going to have to keep a pretty close eye on my connection speed to see if everything's going well. I'm recording this at the same time, so that's all good too. Welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world, goddamn cryptocurrency. It's a great day. Yes, that is a wolf. It's from the north of China, northwest, a uh, place called Xinjiang, and it's giant. It's a giant wolf. <laughs> You'll see it. Look at this guy. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, this is a great day for uh, DeFi because we do have a white paper loop through, which is drip, drop, drop. Uh, it's the afternoon here where I am, and we're going to go through the white paper for it that's just launched. We're going to talk about what it is, how I feel about it, and I'll try to explain it to you in how I understand it, the best way that I understand it. So let's just get into this today, this exciting video on drip, drop, draw. Yeah, man, this is cool. Before we get into that, actually, stop. Before we get into it, um, we do have to discuss something which is a continuous competition going on. Uh, we have 32 hours left for this meme competition for the shitcoin club, where I will be giving away 10 whitelist spots and 0 0.9 BNB. The BNB is going to three people, so that would be ooh, what's that? about 100 bucks, today's prices, plus 10 whitelist spots for the mint of the shitcoin club, which is coming, right? We've set up the web page. Here's the mint page for the, this was the founder NFTs. They're minted. Next up comes the swap for everyone who got the DGen farmer NFT you will be able to claim a NFT. And then after that is the whitelist. Whitelist is 20% off on the full mint price. There will be 100 whitelist spots. So those 10 that are up for grabs here are like gold dust. That's right. So anyway, so that's going on. Uh, and in the DAO that I made, there's a private telegram group unlocked by your legacy NFT. Um, we were, or, well, I um, <laughs> no one replied yet. I guess everyone's sleeping. But I was talking about the uh, drip drop drop because it has launched uh, the white paper, which is this here. Here's my connection. Excellent connection. Uh-oh, bad connection. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you're anyone in the chat, then let me know if you can still hear me or if I'm buffering. I'm having real, real problems trying to hook up a VPN in China with, uh, with streaming on YouTube because... Of course, streaming is illegal. <laughs> Stay degen. Stay degen. So drip, drop, draw, white paper just dropped today. This is a community a layer two solution to the drip problem, essentially. What is the drip problem? Um, I was going to explain it quickly. Here's my second wallet. I maxed it already. Uh, I still have 70,000 drip to claim from this. And the drip price, of course, because a lot of people have been claiming it, is down to 54 cents when it used to be $180. So it is the bear market. This is going to happen. We didn't expect it to go this low, though. This is even lower than the pre-sale. Um, drip is coming on for two years old. There are a lot of max wallets, and we need a way to get... We need something else to do with our drip. Because I could sell this, but selling 232 drip for $100 just seems wrong. So then I just keep stacking it. And a lot of people are. There's a lot of drip in wallets. There's a lot of drip in liquidity with BUSD uh, and people buy it, but people, more people are selling it, which is why the price is lower, right? We need drop draw is a attempt at a solution and it looks great. I'm really bullish on it. So we're gonna go through the paper today and explain how it's gonna work. We don't have a launch on this yet, but there is a roadmap at the end, which gives a potential launch idea on this. And it's a lot sooner than you may think, which is awesome stuff, really cool. Drip drop draw, the D3 or the triple D, is a community-funded project brought to you by Forex Shark and a few members of the R34P DAO. Drip Drop Draw will be uh, the planned layer two for the popular Drip token, where players can win big by depositing uh, very little, okay, or sacrificing. So there's two options for this: deposit tokens or sacrifice tokens. Right? By simply participating regularly, players will help increase Drip locked in the faucet, reduce or stop inflation or minting, deflate circulating supply, increase reservoir liquidity, and increase their own drip deposits. Now, what does this, um, you know, the huge phenomenon which was, or still is, that uh, people buying and burning drip is still going on. 
Uh, but wouldn't be great to be able to buy and burn drip and also have the chance of winning something when you're doing it. That's what this is going to offer essentially. will be integrated into the new drip website and have its own menu tab. This adds an extra layer of trust as the website is vetted by Forex and the code is personally reviewed by him. Good. Um, and audits will be coming in for this as well. It will launch in two phases. We're going to have the faucet side first and then an exciting look into the reservoir side. And honestly, like yesterday on video, I was talking about how I really wanted some kind of more drip BMB uh, exposure. So that's great that they're going to roll that out too. Perfection, right? So let's first talk about the faucet side entry. Arguably the most innovative part of the triple D is that 99% of all earnings on the faucet side eventually flow into the faucet with 1% going to the drip marketing wallet, which is 100% controlled by Forex, not by anyone else. Bullish, right? Coffee break. <laughs> Prizes are paid out as drip airdropped into your uh, winning wallet, which is effectively more drop drip locked into the faucet. So you're not going to get the drip into your actual wallet, well, it will be in your wallet, um, in the faucet. Then you get 1% daily on that for 360. You can enter the faucet side by either depositing or sacrificing drip, which is good, BUSD or BNB. If you sacrifice or deposit BUSD or BNB, I believe you get a better bang for your buck, which will be pegged to the cost of one BUSD per ticket. To incentivize fresh capital injections, bonus tickets are awarded to those who enter with BUSD or BNB. Because if we were just like, for example, okay, uh, I have my drip account, I have 233 drip, I claim that out and then I send it back in <laughs> just because I want to win prizes. That's great and all, but that means we're just jerking each other off like nothing's happening, right? What we need is fresh capital coming into the system. So that would not be me selling my drip for BNB because then there's a 10% tax on that. And then another 10% tax probably go into this, right? So I, it would mean I'm going to take fresh capital to play the game, which would then be really bullish for the drip ecosystem. Hopefully we're still streaming good. If we are, please let me know in the comments, uh, the live stream comments. If we're not, then I'm sorry, but I'm going to just finish this anyway. Then I'll upload it anyway because I'm recording at the same time. The wonders of modern technology. <laughs> and like and subscribe. Please bang like. Like Spike, thanks very much. Each day, there will be six rounds of winners drawn. Each round will pay out uh, to seven prize divisions. First prize, four runners up. A biggest depositor and a biggest sacrificer. Probably going to be Ray every day. <laughs> it's basically, he made this so that he can win it every day. <laughs> Shout out to the squad. Each round's jackpot will compromise 40% of earnings from deposits, 24% earnings from sacrifices, and 10% of the previous round's earnings rolled over, which is a good idea. There's always going to be something in the pot, right, for someone to win, because 10% is always rolled over. Uh, reservoir side entry. More details to come on the reservoir. Fair enough. So this is how it works. Here is a little uh, picture of what's happening. We've got the top there, no, oh, there, right? BNB, drip, BUSD going into it. If we pay in with, remember, BUSD or BNB, then we get a better bang for our buck, right? Then we can choose. Do we want to deposit it in to the triple D or do we want to sacrifice it in to the triple D? When that happens, 1% from either deposit or sacrifice goes to the marketing wallet. And then 75% of that from either depositing or sacrificing, your choice there, two buttons, right, to press, uh, will go into the tax vault. Tax vault will be really important because the more drip in the tax vault means the less drip has to be minted when people are claiming it. Well, what's happening up there? <laughs> then we have the bottom, we have the jackpot, right? 24% from the sacrifice is going into the, the jackpot, 24% from the deposit is going to the jackpot, right? And the 10% rollover. So we're getting from our entry, all combined in, 24% of that is all going into our jackpot, which is then called daily. It's important to note that each day's total jackpot will comprise a portion of earnings from both deposits. The following diagram should help understand the flow of funds more easily. Important, we would like to point out that all earnings eventually end up locked into the faucet, as you can see below. This drip goes to show how powerful the Triple D Layer 2 initiative is for drip. Each day's total jackpot will be paid out in prizes as follows. We read this already. Yeah, 20%, four runners up, 
and 10% biggest depositor, 10% sacrificer, 40% rollover for, for the next day, which is 10%, right? Really? Okay. <laughs> I have to look at that again. Uh, faucet side, jackpot and payout estimates. So how much are we going to win in this? And how much is it going to help drip? Because that's the whole idea of this. We want this to support the drip price and also give ourselves a fun way of earning more profits, but also helping drip, right? That's the whole idea. We anticipate the jackpot will pay out thousands of drip each day. Depending on the drip price, that's a lot. Heavy stress testing has been performed with many different variables and computational inputs. To illustrate how much drip can be paid out in prizes and locked back into faucet daily, let us look at three outcomes based upon the following assumptions. Scenario one. <laughs> at the time of writing, drip is $50. Uh, $50? No, it's not. It's 50 cents, right? At the time of writing, there are currently 150,000 active wallets in drip. So a conservative 10% take-up rate would be uh, what's that's 15,000 people, okay? Participating in each triple D round. Players only participate with $1 each. For the sake of simplicity, no players sacrifice. Not even Ray. Not even Ray sacrifices, right? <laughs> so that would be 10 times 150 times $1, $15,000 per round. Total converted drip uh, would be 30,000 drip per round. First prize would be 1,500 drip. The runners up, four runners up, would get 300 drip each into their faucet. Biggest depositor would get 750. The sacrificer, no one sacrificed, so nothing, right? And the total drip sent to the faucet for that day would be 25,000 drip. Boom, right? This is filling, like, and that is 10% of all drip players all putting in one ticket, right? One dollar. Okay, total drip sent. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, per round, but uh, yeah, six rounds a day, sorry. So there's 153,000 drip for the day. <laughs> wow. Okay. Currently, there's about a million drip in the uh, fought in the tax vault, I think. Possibly lower. I haven't checked it for about a week. So that would be a lot, lot of drip being locked up. Bullish for the price, right? Start buying that drip, really. Buy it. Buy it now. Scenario two. Uh, drip's 50 cents still. Um, but there's a 1% take-up rate. Oh, no. Didn't go well, right? Marketing failed. Only 1% of people took, took up, right? But they're DGENs like me and you, <laughs> right? And we all put in 100 BUSD each. For the sake of simplicity, that would mean then that even with 1% take up, but $100 going in each day, that is 1.5 million drip into the tax vault for the day and 15,000 drip payout, right? The first day of this is going to be insane how much drip you're going to win. But like, it must be capped at 27,000 drip, though, because you can't split it into um, more, you know, I guess the top prize must be capped at 27,000 drip. Can't get more in your faucet. Can't even squeeze any more in there. <laughs> uh, jackpot side. Jackpot and payout estimates. Scenario three, okay? At the time of writing, drip is still 50 cents, and there's still 150,000 active wallets. So there's a 2% takeout rate. But all the players are poor, and we only put in $10 each. That would be 306,000 drip in for the day. So you can see in all three of these scenarios, doesn't matter if there's 1% take up, 10% uh, take up, or 2% take up, which are all going to get involved in the triple D, or $10 or $100, that's still hundreds of thousands of drip being put into the tax vault daily, right? Daily. Amazing stuff. This is brilliant. high risk, high return, okay? Uh, I really hope this works ex exactly as planned because of it, we're golden, right? This is good. Faucet side. Depositing your uh, for tickets can be accepted in Drip, BUSD, or BNB, as we talked about. Uh, tickets are pegged to $1. There's an incentive of a 20% bonus ticket provided to players entering with BUSD or BNB. We talked about that because we want fresh capital coming into Drip. So as per the table, the faucet side deposits will pay a fixed percentage of each day's earning to seven winners. Yeah, we talked about that already. Uh, this repeats itself a lot. I think they could really slim this down, to be honest. <laughs> um, additionally, it's important to note these figures are after a 10% standard drip tax. Yes, has been charged. Drip taxes only charge once at entry and all other movements of drip are whitelisted. Okay, so just like the faucet, when you buy into the triple D, you are paying a 10% tax with your BNB, your drip, or your BUSD. Fair enough. That's the way drip works. Prizes are paid out in airdrop. Uh, you must have an active drip account. You must be in it to win it, right, for this. So we have deposits there. 
and that's all good. You're just depositing in fresh capital into the system to buy yourself tickets. But then we have the idea of sacrificing. When a player buys a ticket by sacrificing, that means you're essentially burning that capital, right? They'll be foregoing their drip BUSD uh, or BNB buy-in with into the faucet, right? You won't be adding anything to the faucet, right? You'll just be getting your tickets. Um, this is incentivized because people are buying and burning drip a lot anyway. So now they're, they have a game to play where they can buy and burn and get a better uh, chance of winning the the payouts, right, from the Triple D by sacrificing. This is a great addition. I guess this was a, a little, a, a, like a, I think this was an afterthought of uh, adding the sacrifice stage to the deposit stage because of the success of the buy and burn campaign. So I think that's what's going on here. The incentive is that you'll get a 20% bonus tickets provided if you sacrifice. Okay, so people are going to do it anyway. People are sacrificing all the time. If you want to do it, go to dripfi.app. They have a sacrifice button. You can just sacrifice there, right? But if you do it that way, then it's all the same apart from 20%. You, know, you get 20% bonus on sacrificing. And I believe, yeah, this part here, 24% uh, of total earnings gets added to the jackpot pool. That's the same. Um, there's something else. This is money for and gone. Players will not get 75% as your deposit, right? So you, your, your faucet won't add any more drip, right? You're burning everything, right? That's why you get 20% bonus ticket. This is the best way to help the protocol. Of course, it's not for everyone, but I love that they've added this in there too. Okay, so we're going to skip this part because it is not running yet, and I'd rather just go through the tokenomics when we are playing, right? Playing the Triple D as opposed to going through. One important part is if you're buying with Drip, you need to make sure you've rounded, uh, it will be rounded down, so always be above, you know, put in $2.01 as opposed to $1.99 because then you will only get one ticket instead of two. And influence five percent of the funds an influencer uh, brought in from their affiliate links paid out as referral rewards in lottery tickets, not BUSD, not Drip, not BNB. For example, if an influencer brings in ten thousand dollars under them, they will get five hundred tickets for that same day's draw. Then they will win, possibly have a, well, they'll have a much better chance of winning the Drip Drop draw. Influencers no longer need to be in it to win it, so referral rewards will be paid regardless of an influencer's participation. Interesting. So the last thing we need to check is the roadmap, when this is gonna roll out, uh, when's, oh, what, you know, when's, when we're gonna see this? Pretty soon, right? So early quarter two, the launch with the new Drip website and user interface. We're in March 25th. Uh, we are just coming out quarter one. So early quarter two would be April. Surely, uh, surely it must be April. I really hope it is. Uh, quarter two also, Certic audit, so launch, then audit, um, okay, uh, don't know about that. <laughs> quarter two then, uh, drip marketing plan will be announced and rolled out because they will now have a marketing budget from that 1%. After that, the reservoir side of Triple D to launch in quarter two also. Then late quarter two, they will we'll get a Paladin audit if the marketing wallet allows it. Then quarter three, teams update allowing teams to compete with each other and have members all earn bonus tickets if their team or syndicate wins. So team-based uh, gaming with the Triple D. Then quarter three, winning gifting system is deployed. So that is what's happening here. As the saying goes, a rising tide raises all ships. And we believe that Drip will lift the entire DeFi industry to new heights. Yeah, okay. So this is a really unique idea. I've never seen anything like this deployed. I really hope no one tries to copy it before it's launched because, you know, the whole adage of showing your hand before you're ready, you know, is, is a true one, right? But I'm super bullish for this. 